What? Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Okay, good news. There were no survivors on there anyway. Bad news. Radiation. Well, that's very useful. Thank you very much. I would really like a radiation suit right about now. Um, okay, radiation suit. This suit fully protects against the effects of radiation during land, sea, and space exploration. Uh, safety rate up to 400. Cross compatible with all AEP suit functionality. Sleek. Uh, a necessary precaution in post mad world. <laughs> yeah. For when the nukes fall. Um, oh boy, not good. How do I make one of those fiber mesh and lead? How? Fib. Where the hell am I going to get fiber mesh from, and where the hell am I going to get lead from? Okay. Uh, for now, I think it's best if we stay away from the aurora for as much as possible, and in the meantime, get ourselves a little bit more water. The cooked Gary fish. Floral flavor, but very little of it. So you're not really that edible, but. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Wait, so in our day and age, people don't eat animals anymore entirely? It's all synthetic based and stuff? Well, okay then. Um. Yeah, in comparison to the peepers, cooked peepers, that is next to nothing in regards to food and H2O. Well, keeps me alive. Um, so there's one positive to this all. We didn't blow up. So that's good, I guess. Um, I'm... Oh, resource management, not my strong suit, not at all. Um, no, I didn't want to consume that, I wanted to deposit it. Ah, boy. Okay, um... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, something's popping in right about now. Uh, where... Give me a moment, give me a moment. The stem is fibrous and rich in iron, making it both a viable base material for fabrication of textiles as well as basic food stuff. They're talking about the stem of the creep vine, not the seeds, but the stem. Could I cut something off? Ooh. Maybe, and that could quite possibly be fiber mesh. Okay, where the hell? Where the hell were those creep finds? There, there's the forest. Okay, uh, I'm gonna find one that has no stalker nearby, but of course they all are going to have stalkers nearby. Because why not? Um, or if I just stick to the top, they might not even notice I'm here. Hmm, sounds like a plan. I hope it doesn't backfire. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can I creep fine sample inventory full? Of course. Okay, there's one behind me. <laughs> no, go away, go away. Nothing to be seen here. I'm leaving your territory. Goodbye. Okay, um, let me see. What can I do with old creep fine sample? You can eat it. Not really for much, but silicon-based plant material. Does this just turn into silicon rubber in that case? Because if so, I'm better off just taking the seeds. Okay, let's see. Can I do anything with you? Yes! Fiber mesh! Um, do I need two creep fine samples to make that, or do I get two fiber mesh out of one creep fine sample? Uh... Oh, uh, my life pot is rocking. Okay. Uh, can we? Okay, it's... Oh, no, no, no! What? I... Are you for real? Go away! That's my life! Okay, fine. I think I deserved it. Kind of. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, um, drop, drop, ow! I dropped the fish. I dropped the fish. Um. Did you see me dropping the fish? Oh god, how am I? 
Okay, um, can I maybe... Okay, if I hold you... <laughs> here, here, have a fish, have a fish, have a fish. No. Have a fish. Can you stay away from me? Yes, here, have a fish, have a fish. He ate the fish, he ate the fish. I don't have more, that's all the peepers that I have. Please leave me alone. Please. Oh god. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Thank God. Uh, I think I kind of deserve that for constantly entering their territory, their home. So now they enter my home and make my life pot rock around. Yay. Fun times. Uh, good news. I have fiber mesh. And I know where to get it. I'm going to be making friends with stalkers. Okay. Um, Pathfinder tool. Deploys holographic Pathfinder discs. Use to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Max of 20 discs per path. Um, I haven't really been exploring a lot of caves just yet. Uh, not sure if that's going to be useful to me. But how much do I... Oh, I need two. Oh, and I need two lead. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I lost my fish. That sucks. Do I have anything over here? No. More water. Um, Creepvine seed clusters. You know, I'm actually going to turn those into other stuff that is useful to me. Because from one of them, I can make two silicon rubber. And that saves some space in the long run. And I don't think I can do any... I can make lubricant. I might as well make it two lubricant, just in case. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Very useful indeed. Um, and I can make glass. I, I'm not sure if I need more glass for anything. Um, okay, okay, okay. Resource management. I'm really terrible at this. I okay, don't need the acidic mushrooms. Don't need the titanium right now. I think this is good. Um, I need more fiber mesh. Also, I need more food. I need more peepers. There you go. Join me on a journey. You two. And... Come on. Come on. Where did you go? Uh. That is really cool, by the way. They indeed close their eyes sometimes. Okay. Um. Where? Oh, boy. Night time sucks. I think this is where the forest was. Okay, I'm going here. I'm going to cut some creep fine stuff. As long as the stalkers don't bother me. I'm going to swim in a circle back. Okay, one, two, three, four. That should be enough, right? Okay, we're swimming in this direction. Safe and sound. No worries. And lure any possible stalkers to this place instead of to my life pod. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. Because I can't be constantly throwing peepers at them. I can't be carrying around peepers all the time. Okay, well, time to construct a little bit more of this stuff. And then I think the moment daytime returns, we're going to be trying to find that life pod over there, away from the aurora, and maybe find some source of lead. Or maybe salt. Salt could also be still useful because bleach. Um, no distress signal. Okay, good. Let's see. There's one more fiber mesh. Perfect. Can I use this stuff for anything else? Like, do I need to creep fine for anything else? Um, they're back again. I hate these stalkers. Oh my god. Oh, just you wait. In the future, these new friends of yours might surprise you. You're swimming in their waters and sharing is caring. Okay, the, the moment I get the chance, I'm gonna have to make a habitat somewhere where those freaking stalkers aren't. Okay, um, anything else? I have the fiber mesh, which is good. I have the peepers, which is good. Um, anything else? 
take a little bit of water, and I'll cook one peeper. And I think that should actually be enough right now. That means I have enough food, water, ready to go. Have a first aid kit if things go wrong. Have enough space to pick stuff up. Uh, can't deposit anything else in here. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm absolutely stupid. I have seen this waterproof locker. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. Four titanium. I can make one of those. That means I have more storage. I'm okay with this. Um, oh boy, that thing is big. Uh, how about we place you over here? Okay, stalkers. Gone. Yes. Perfect. In that case, let me see. Can I... There we go. Perfect. Okay, that means I'm actually gonna store all of this in there because i'm not gonna need quartz or fiber mesh on the way there i'm hoping guessing which means um there's the aurora there is the signal time to see if they are alive like work on their sea glide if i can get a sea glide sounds good to me but that's gonna be a long swim well better start swimming and in the meantime, if I get the chance... Oh boy, I'm gonna take a few bladderfish. <laughs> okay, seriously, kinda creepy. I did not want to pick up that mushroom, but okay. Bladderfish are weird. And meanwhile, I'm staring a... What was that? What was that? What was that? Um... Meanwhile, I'm staring away from the stalkers. Oxygen, thank you. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Oh, is that what? Um. Okay, what the hell is that? Oh, that thing is massive. Oh my god. Is that one of those Leviathan predators? Oh boy. Okay, steer away from that. I'm going to find this sea glide people. And the more of those gas pots. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to like this. Ooh, more wreckage. Is there anything over here? Beacon fragments. Hi. Okay, need one more in order to find out what a beacon fragment is. Sea glide fragment. I can make a sea glide. 100. Uh, okay, gas pots. That's good. I can get a sea glide. Uh, no. Uh, blueprints, blueprints. Uh, show me. Radiation suit. Yes. Pathfinder tool. Air bladder. Sea glide. Converts torque into th thrust and water via propeller. Lubricant. I have lubricant. I have a battery. I, well, I can make a battery. I have copper wire. I can make it. Tight. <laughs> Fine, I'll go check out the crew with their sea glide damage. I can make one if required. I have materials and stuff. Uh, boy, I'm not liking these forests. Um, salt, salt! Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Okay, um, that means. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a lot of salt. Hi, stalker. How are you doing? I'm gonna leave you be. Okay, salt turns into chlorine uh, or bleach, which is good, very good. Mobile vehicle bay fragments. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Yeah, definitely further recommended. This place is massive, and who knows what else is still on this planet. We've all. We've been playing around in the upper, what? 30, 40 meters? How... Um, how deep does it go? A life pot is supposed to be floating around. Oh boy, that can't be good. Oh my... Oh, oh what? Yeah... I'm gonna be dealing with a lot of predators in this place. 
Okay, just... Freaking stalkers, stay away. I'm not bothering you. I'm not entering your forest. Not entirely. What the hell are you? Uh, not the time to scan right now. Life pot three. Um, sea glide fragment. I get, I get resources for stuff that I have already scanned. Oh boy. Oh that. That is not good. Abandoned PDA. Life foot three crew lock and data box. Compass. Oh, okay. Oxygen, oxygen. On my way. On my way. On my way. Okay. Um. No stalker boys tormenting me yet. Okay. Um. What did I data download? Aurora survivors crew. Lifebot's crew lock. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. There's indeed going to be stuff that is faster than a uh, sea glide. Oh boy. Okay. Um. How much space do I have remaining right about now? I have a lot of space. Um. In which case, I'm going to take this salt. Thank you. I'm not going to pick up every single piece of the aurora if I have no reason to scan it. Like these. This is just normal. Normal metal salvage. Food for the stalkers. Let them play with the salvage instead of playing with me and I think we will all be a lot happier about it okay so they did not survive possibly eaten by stalkers not fun um, is this limestone thank you okay I'm still I'm looking for lead where am I Thank you. Oh boy. Um, what are. Oh, what is that? Okay, I need the oxygen. I was a lot deeper down than expected. Um, is that a massive salt cluster? Can I. Salt deposit. Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Okay. Hi. How are you doing? Oh boy! Sand! Shark! Oh! Whoa. No, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away, go away. Okay. My f I found knowledge of the sand shark. I'm getting the hell out of here. This place is deadly. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my freaking god. Okay. Um, I'm gonna construct that sea glide. If I survive, uh, let me also take you. Thank you. More titanium. I have more than enough of that. But you know I'm going to need more of it. And more copper. Perfect. Okay. Time to get back to the life pod. Construct that sea glide. And then see where the hell that is going to break. Uh, where it's going to take us. I need way too many resources. Oh, wow. Is this? Oh, this is where I was. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll take that and I'll take that. <laughs> this is that freaking big coral tube, I believe. Oh, my God. That is massive. Um, did that sound like... I thought... Yeah, that sounds like crash fish. Oh, thanks. Um... I think we have a new radio signal. We have a new radio signal. Ooh, maybe other survivors. Hello? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over? Yes, I read you. Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. I don't think this is a single Aurora, a simple I'm out SOS. On the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes. 
but this is a one-way radio. Tomorrow. Damn charters can have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. We kind of long range scans pick up in the meantime. Yeah, one. I need a two-way radio. This is not going to work. Oh, uh, but people know about us, or at least they found an SOS signal. That is good. That means rescue is on its way. Soon, I hope. Okay, um... Sea glide, sea glide, sea glide requires... Battery, lubricant, copper wire. Um... I'll take some copper wire, thank you. Let me quickly see if I have my resources in place. Alright, that is a battery, good. Um... Sea glide, perfect. Alrighty then. Oh, that's a big boy. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. I was not planning to go anywhere beyond five kilometers, even 500 meters as a lot at this point in time. Oh boy, that thing is big. Okay, um, I'm gonna put you over there. Uh, can I put this one over here, good. Um, let's make a little bit of food and water. Cured food. Dehydrated but keeps well. So if I make this, it doesn't degrade as fast as normal cooked food. Good to know. But not entirely sure how useful that is. Alright, and a compass. Displace compass heading on the hut. Copper wire and a wiring kit. Mm, I don't have silver. Can't make a high capacity O2 tank. Um, and the wiring also requires silver. Where am I going to get silver from? Okay. Uh, consume. Drink. Uh, drink. Good enough. That people is going to go down soon-ish. So, yeah. But I have salt. What did I need for... I could make bleach. What do I need? No, not that. Bleach. Coral tube sample. If I were to... Swim... Oh, wait. I... There's my locker. Did I already pick up some of that? No, open storage. Uh, not in here. Ooh. Radio distress signal. Okay, other people. Hi. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Oh, boy. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, uh... Where? Uh, beacon manager... Uh, stranded near a cave system under attack. Uh, I've already found this one. Uh, 100 meters away. Or is that 100 meters depth? Stranded near a cave system under attack. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I found another data bank. Sand shark. A powerful medium sized predator that burrows into the sand and ambushes its prey from below. As with many predators, it may be possible to temporarily distract sand sharks by feeding any hungry specimen that draw close. Okay, fun times. Uh, the unusual location of this fin suggests a purpose unrelated to movement through the water. It may be employed in sh shifting sand between uh, beneath the surface or in mating rituals, or may simply be an evolutionary dead end, the forward dorsal fin. Um, a segmented exoskeleton, thick armor plating renders the sand shark almost immune to attacks from above. While it is capable of impressive acceleration, its exoskeleton prevents it from changing direction quickly. The sand shark is thus a perfectly designed ambush hunter, but ill suited to sustained pursuits. So if I move underneath them or beside them, they have trouble rotating and getting me. Good to know. Uh, feet, ill designed for ambulation, likely used to disturb the surface of the sand so the life form can burrow into the ground. Avoid, be vigilant for ambush in sandy biomes. Oh god. Okay, um. So. Coral, 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 coral. 
I did not pick up any coral. Okay, good to know. That means... Uh, oh boy, it's dark again. Okay, um... One of these. Do these give me... Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, that's four pieces. Does that make me bleach? Uh, resources, basic materials. Perfect. Okay, that means... If I've is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. So it's not drinking bleach. Got it, it's purifying water. That means I don't have to rely on bladderfish all the time. I can actually rely on bleach purifying my water. Good, very good. Okay, um, water. One bleach makes two water. Oh, that is useful. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Yeah, eventual death. <laughs> Definitely trying to avoid that. Okay, how... Um, oh, that's a lot of water. I'm really okay with that. Okay, we're going to deposit some of that over here. Some of the good stuff. I'll take the bad or the, the worst stuff with me for now. Um, okay, I think... That leaves me... Oh, boy. Okay, um... Can I switch that? Oh, we have a flashlight on this? Oh, and I can, yeah, I can turn it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, uh, nighttime is creepy, nighttime is scary. 400 meters. Oh, this moves a whole lot better. Oh, that is good. Okay, not liking the fact that I can't see a lot, even with this light. And we're straight going for the freaking creep fine biome okay Ooh, salt deposit i'll take that thank you and i'm gonna move away okay let's see oh this goes so fast oh i'm loving this okay sandy biome need to be wary with that Ooh, what is that S sea moth fragment oh i need oxygen 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 yeah, working on it, working on it. Sea moth. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Higher, thank you. Oh. Um, interesting where... Vehicles. Mobile vehicle bay. Sea glide is what I got. Uh, sea glide is a personal transportation device designed for use in oceanic environments. Capable of speeds up to 35 kilometers in standing water. Displays basic topographical data for aid in charting cave systems. A replaceable battery, nice. Keep fingers clear of propeller, always. The sea glide, any Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Thank you, Karen, you already told me. Um, the sea glide, anything that moves faster in the water is probably trying to eat you. <laughs> I've noticed. Okay, what is a sea moth? The sea moth is a one-person vehicle with an independent replaceable power cell fitted in the rear and a fully customizable design. Low power, multi-directional thrusters enable it to function equally well in sea or space environments. Most long-range vessels carry at least two vehicles of this class to facilitate the exploration and exploitation of small astronomical bodies. However, they can also be fabricated at a standard mobile vehicle bay. Uh, 13 meters per second, I think that's pretty fast. Uh, distance per power cell, 10 kilometers. Crush depth, 200 meters below sea level. Ooh, that allows me to go deep. The sea moth may be modified by installing upgrade modules to the access point mounted on the wing. These include increased cargo storage, superior power. The, um, these modules may only be manufactured at the, a moon pool, outfitted with a vehicle modification station. The sea moth, it goes anywhere but on land. Okay, so uh, we have another 200 meters versus 100. Okay, going this place. Um, this is the sandy biome they spoke about, which means I... Sandstone? Lead? Oh, 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 that, that is good, that is good, that is good, really good. More salt, 
Liking that, taking that. Are there more? Anywhere? Is this so sandstone chunk? Which? Silver! Oh! Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Yeah, I'm not planning to stay long in those caves. Oh, this is glorious, this is glorious. I have found access to the lead, silver and gold. Nice! These common porous outcrops seem to form around small amounts of precious metals. Or otherwise, these metals are part of a sedimentary buildup over time. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. That means I can get access to my radiation suits, which means I don't have to worry about radiation. Um, and in general, that means I can... Oh, boy. Oh, that goes so deep. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. I would imagine that, that being unknown. Uh, laser cutter fragments. Okay, that might move. Hi, biter. Um, did you just? Hi. What? The biter. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the surface. Just, yes. Okay, I have a lot of oxygen. Ooh. What I was trying to say, by the way, silver allows for more air. Oh my god, that really goes up high. Uh, Biter, do I need to worry about you by any chance? A vicious pack hunting predator. 94% muscle, 4% connective tissue, and 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry. Almost always hungry. Okay, so stay away from these things. S uh, specialized olfactory antenna. Employed in detection of bodily fluids in the water at depressive range. So if you bleed, these things will find you. Secondary pair of eyes, likely dedicated to detecting the peripheral movement of larger predators and hungry members of its own species. An overdeveloped tail fin, yeah, quite possibly indeed. Uh, favors outpacing and outnumbering their prey over individual maneuverability. Calculations suggest creatures up to 100 times the bite as body weight could succumb to a focused assault by a pack of 10. Avoid packs, try not to bleed. Got it. Seeing how afraid the big guy is of small predators like the stalkers, biters and sand sharks, he'll have a field day once he figures out what classifies as a leviathan predator. Compared to them, these things are child's play.